welcome to my American diner mukbang. <laughs> so of course it wasn't all for me. We went to the American diner, just one of many food places on the Sun Princess ship. We got pancakes. I didn't actually try it. Even if this all wasn't for you, which obviously it can't be right. There are other people here that are obviously eating this. Good Lord, Becky. What is this entire table? It's like you're a king at the end of a giant, like, feast. Like, your whole army just won a giant battle and you want to celebrate as, like, the commander-in-chief. But yet you've done nothing. You've just sat there and, you know. Like, we you know what's really sad about this entire thing? What's really, really upsetting to me is that people were telling me. They were saying, David. They're going to go and they're going to do other stuff on the cruise. It's not just going to be eating. It's not going to be just going to different restaurants and the buffets on the water and things such and so forth. No, David, they're going to do other stuff as well. They're going to explore. They're going to find out, you know, they're going to find out the, the deep details about this cruise liner. Maybe they even stop off a different. No, nothing. None of that. All they did for the entire cruise was eat and drink periodically. Well, less for less for Becky. Becky didn't really drink so much. Uh, but definitely Corey, Leah, and definitely Corey's girlfriend, 100%, they all sat there and they drank tons and tons of alcohol. And you know, 100%, they said, I got a burger. But for Becky, it was just eating. And you know what? Somebody actually on the Becky Jones subreddit, uh, maybe you're seeing it on your screen right now, but somebody actually went through and went through all the stuff that she had eaten. By the way, the cruise was four days long. So four days in total. And they added up her calories over those four days to be 32,000 calories. Close to 33,000 calories over four days. Now, if you don't know, if that's divided up daily, that's about... 8,300 calories per day that Becky was consuming in order to reach that amount, which is, <gasps> oh my God, Becky, what are you doing? 8,000 calories a day? Good Lord. I'm not surprised, dude. It makes a lot of sense. I mean, look what you're seeing on your screen right now. Becky is unstoppable when it comes to her food consumption, but um, she's back home. The cruise is only four days and it was very disappointing. I know a lot of people were really, really hyped for the cruise. I mean, I can't say I didn't tell you guys. So uh, all it was going to be for Becky was just eating. And, but at least she made some friends on the way, uh, probably expediting the heart failure by a couple extra years being on this cruise. But you know what, dude? At least she enjoyed herself. But today we're going to go through not the entire cruise, but the last day or two of the cruise and her going home. And there's going to be a little surprise by the end of today's video. So make sure you stick around. Many food places. On by the way, milkshake right there, if you guys don't see it. The Sun Princess ship. We got pancakes. I didn't actually try any of the pancakes. This mac and cheese, it wasn't straight. They put the mac and cheese directly in a pot, which is crazy, dude. I don't know what makes it so American. Burgers, fries, eggs, and nachos. I guess, like, the multiculturalism of America, maybe? Cheese, and I loved it. Everyone wore pink, because we're all so, so proud. Everybody wore pink, as I literally see Corey not wearing pink. Beautiful. Out of Charlie Ann for her reveal of the pink fake tan. How can somebody let me know really quickly? So, yeah, so Charlie Ann definitely has a new tan, fake tan, pink fake tan. I just want to know what do you use for the fake tan? Like, what, 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 in what world do you use pink as a base for your fake tan? What is the purpose of that? Is it just for the butthole? Is it just to slide across the butthole to get a little bit of like extra brownness off of it? Somebody's got to let me know. Oh, iconic. So proud of you, Charlie. Anyway, I had some nachos. This guacamole was the most amazing guacamole I've ever tasted in my whole life. It, it, I don't think Becky has ever even tasted guacamole in, in general, but you know what? Go off, queen. Then I had buttermilk fried chicken with some mash. And Man, she gotta do something about these filters, dude. I don't know how else to tell Becky this. We all seen what you look like, okay? People have seen what you look like without the filter. We've seen you on the plane. We've seen you on the cruise. We've seen you outside the cruise area. People have now seen what you look like. What's even the purpose anymore, dude? We all know that your skincare is not the best, which is fine. We all know that you're a lot bigger than you actually are, which is fine. We just want you to be successful in no matter what you want to do. But putting on this facade, look, I don't even have a problem with you using filters. A lot of people use filters, apparently. I had not known this, but a lot of people do use filters on social media. It's fine that you use filters. The problem that I have the most is that you deny it. You sit there and you lie that you don't use filters. No, guys, I don't use filters. Trust me. It's actually really, really crazy that so many people will tell me that I use filters. I don't. Dude, you don't even have pores on your face. You're literally peanut butter smooth on your face right now, dude. Why are you lying? Why are you lying? I've seen the videos. I've seen the clips of you trying to get out of the pools or being in the hot tubs or trying to lift up your leg. And I've seen that you don't look like the way you look on your videos. 
Everybody else has videos of you, Becky. It's no use anymore. We all see it. We all see the facade that you're putting on. Why you gotta lie so aggressively? We know you got that double, triple chin. And some gravy. The gravy was so delicious. Wasn't salty, but it had like a little- At least she didn't- At least she didn't eat the rib uh, vertically like she did last time. If you guys don't remember that one video where she went at the rib vertically, that's- Dude, eating a rib the long way is crazy. A hint of something in it. Like, made it southern style. The mac and cheese. Now, Looks I didn't really order gross. mac and cheese from anywhere, but it was so tasty. This is also the girl that, if you guys can't see it, this is like, we popped, we stopped it at the right time, dude. This is like in between filter and not filter right here. But this is the same girl that consistently always says, oh no, guys, I don't like cheese. I really don't like cheese. As she's body slamming macaroni and cheese, which I think is a lie, by the way. I I don't know why she sits there and says she doesn't like cheese so much when I see her getting literal pizzas and burgers with cheese on them and all this other stuff. Why are you lying so heavily, dude? Macaroni and cheese is literally just macaroni with cheese coated on it. Hey, then I tried a root beer. I felt it tasted a little bit aniseedy. Does anybody else feel like that way? Aniseedy? What is aniseedy? Root beer. It was a root beer vanilla ice cream float. Anyway. How many calories do you think that was, man? It doesn't matter, dude. We all know it was around 8,000 calories she was eating every single day, which, if you guys don't know, the average woman here in America or in the West needs to eat about 2,000 calories a day to maintain. That means Becky was literally eating four times what she needs to be eating in a day, which makes all the sense in the world. I mean, our girly is big. She is massive. Big, big, biggest in the entire lands, dude. Um, but she likes to lie. She likes to say that she's not. She is a little bit dense, like, in terms of, not her brain, but her structure, her bone structure seems a little bit thicker. So it seems like she could, like, a big, I feel like if Becky was really trying to, uh, really try to expedite what she's able to do with her body, she should be in weightlifting. She should be lifting heavy-ass weights, because I think her bone structure would facilitate a lot of lifting. Anyway, I tried it. Definitely different. Probably you drank won't a have lot of it, too, man. But again, I tried it. And the chocolate cake, of course. People don't sleep. People sleep on the amount of cake. How much calories cake is, man. Cake is very, very dense, man. You're literally looking at maybe, what is this? Probably like five, six, seven hundred calories. I wouldn't even be surprised if this was a solid stack, dude. One thousand off the top. And I had the mud, was it Mississippi mud pie? And oh, it was just so good. But how elite is this food? I'm going to miss it so much. Well, maybe it's a good thing that you don't have the opportunity to eat this anymore, Becky. Because uh, you took advantage of it, man. You definitely went far and away eating literal everything on the cruise, man. It's really sad, too. You have all the places to go on the cruise. And I still, I still seen Becky. I still seen Corey. I still seen Leah. I still seen Cherry Ann going to Mickey D's, bro. Why? You have literal deluxe Deluxe people down there cooking you food consistently all through the night, all through the day, and you still get a, a, a food from McDonald's? Why? Why, bro? By the way, uh, they really took advantage of that shit, bro. I just saw a video of Leah literally yesterday getting room service at 4 a.m. and then recalled up and was like, hold up, wait a minute, before you deliver that, double it. Let me get more on top of that. Put French toast on that. And then she literally went on the app and got more delivery done. Dude, these people working down there in the cafeterias we're probably literally working 24 7 to facilitate just just for becky leah uh and corey and his girlfriend did um and also there were some reviews that came through on the cruise and people were talking shit people were talking shit about the whole organization they were saying that they were really really rude to them and they were like they were putting cameras in these pe people's faces and stuff like that i actually have the the transcript of somebody that posted that on the the Facebook page and it says right here maybe you're seeing it on your screen right now but it says I do not I don't normally use social media however this occasion felt like it needed to express that what shambles it has been for my parents they flew to I don't know what that word is stop Salavia Salava whatever and docked at the bay Southampton the whole time being there was like a circus everywhere they looked there were young groups of bloggers or of vloggers filming themselves with uh, obscene amounts of food, obscene amounts of food being loud and over the top. I mean, let's be honest here for a second. Doesn't that sound exactly like Corey's world and her, their, their whole group of friends, dude? It, this has got to be what they're referring to, right? And by the way, there was more than just Corey's world. There was other people there as well. Um, so there was that. Okay. Uh, generally annoying. The last day 
Uh, they were so they were so sick that they sat in their cabin the whole time. Certain areas of the ship were closed off for special events. They paid and they were treated as non-priority. The world's the world's gone mad. My parents would just like to warn anybody going to the Princess Cruises and insist to me that there are better companies to use. So, um, if you guys don't know that whole group of people, so like all these people here. Uh, Cherry Ann, Becky, all these people, they got on for free and they got room for, or they got the whole thing all for free. At least that's what I've been led to believe. And that's great. That's amazing. But the people that paid had to suffer because these people got basically priority over everybody else on the cruise. So that sucks a lot of dick. Can you imagine literally paying however, how much money you paid for that? And then everybody else here just got the free, you know, free, basically VIP treatment did. And you, you're, you're basically paying for exactly what they got, but you didn't get it. That's really fucking sad, by the way. Um, what a shame, Sun Princess taking people's money and using it as a platform to advertise their whole time when it's supposed to be a relaxing time It's is disgraceful. My parents are taking it further. There are there was also a bigger lady in a group jumping in front of them to get her food with the camera shoved in her face the whole time, laughing and unaware that there were other guests on board. Who do you think that was? That could be literally anybody, if I'm being honest, dude. But it just kind of goes to show you. I just wanted to point it out that there were a lot of complaints. A lot of people were calling them out. A lot of people were saying a whole bunch of shit about these people. Um, and they were saying that they were really, really immature and very, very, like, boisterous and, you know, taking taking all the stuff for, for themselves. And they didn't really care about anybody else, being super loud and all this other stuff. And they're right. Being on a cruise would determine, would determine you to be... A relaxing vacay, but I guess a lot of people just didn't get that. But I guess Becky, even though she wasn't really there for the vacation, um, the food most definitely. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. What we getting, guys? Milk. The milk. Mommy's milk. <laughs> Damn, dude. I do like Corey. I do like this whole gang, um, but they seem a little bit annoying. And it also seems like Becky came out of her shell a little bit. She adopted a lot of the traits and norms of these other people, which makes a lot of sense. Becky doesn't really have, like, she's a very closed-in individual. So she's never had friends before, it seems like. So it's cool that she made friends, but it seems like she had to do a lot to divert from herself in order to appease these people. <laughs> we doing a, a vlog yet? Yeah, a bunch of Indonesian guys just sitting here. Like, they probably don't want to be recorded, but it is what it is, bro. The crews probably tell them that it is what it is. You're going to have to just accept it. <laughs> what is it we've got here? This is uh, slushy. Slush? Great hairlines on these guys. Yeah. yeah. Is no milkshake, them. No milkshake, them. <laughs> so my milkshake can't bring all the boys to the yard now. Uh, <laughs> they probably don't even know what that means, right? They're, they're like, oh, damn, what milkshake are you talking about, dude? That shit's expired, man. That shit's too fucking, ugh. Why is it bubbling? <laughs> Your milkshake be making my stomach bubble. I have to do my slush for bait. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Have a great day. Bye. I love them. So nice. mm -hmm. I love them as if like they're not like human beings, dude. It's, I, it's that great. That is amazing, right? Cheers. It's amazing. Yeah. One thing I've noticed too is that everybody looks really, really great. Everybody looks so amazing in Becky's camera, dude. Like the pores just evaporate off your face. We got the same. For you can kind of see it like sliding off right mm, there. Did you guys see it? The straw over her face right there. It was kind of like trying to crop on. Cheers. Cheers. We got the same. See what I'm talking about? Like, it's kind of weird. <laughs> Guys, it's so tasty. It's a slush. My James off is playing, but um, yeah, here's my slush sitting it's back. It's really sad that Becky didn't do anything besides eat on this trip, dude. You would think that she would have, but I mean, what were you expecting, dude? Nah, the food. The food. Cool. And then Buffets. we'll go somewhere really cool in a minute. But my slushy brings all the boys to the Calm yard. Calm down, dude. Calm down, Becky. Ain't nothing bringing anybody to the yard, dude. First of all, you can't even walk outside to see who's in the yard. God. Hi everyone and welcome to my What I Eat in a Day. On the second day of my cruise, there are so many amazing places to eat on here. The eatery this is crazy. This Sun Princess ship is honestly insane. So for breakfast, I had a cooked breakfast. I had bacon, scrambled egg, Damn. hash browns. Damn. There was so much to choose from. Then after we'd been in the hot tub <gasps> in the pools, oh my I went and God. had tacos, pizza. Damn, tacos and pizza, Becky? Good Lord, that's a lot. I got pepperoni pizza and I got a chicken shawarma taco and just a normal chicken one. Just a normal chicken one. D dude, damn, bro. This really puts Becky's plates to shame, man. Look how massive these things are. The pizza was honestly so insane. 
It's absolutely luxurious. And, right and the there. chicken shawarma soft taco. I think that was my favorite. I usually preferred the hard taco shells. Then whilst I was getting ready for the evening, I got a fruit platter delivered with room service. Had to eat my grapes like this because I was feeling so cute. And she's got nobody else to feed her the grapes for her, bro. If you guys don't know, that's that like Roman shit where they feed you the, the food off a silver platter. You know what I'm talking about? Come here, plebeian. Feed me now. I am hungry. Please feed it to me by hand. But Becky doesn't have anybody here. Hashtag lonely. Hashtag lonely girl. Uh, so she got to feed it herself, man. That's really fucking sad. But at least she has some fruit. See? <laughs> I just chilled them for a little bit before we had our tea which was in the Horizons dining room. For my starter, I started off with tomato soup. Starter is crazy, bro. Why can't you just eat whatever's there, man? I'm not a big fan. I'm not, I'm, I'm gonna give it a buck. I'm not a big fan of appetizers. I'm not a big fan of desserts. I just want the food and that's that. And I don't really be eating out at restaurants in general, dude. I don't really have a time or a place to ever go out to get food. So I don't really care about it. But I guess if you're on a free cruise, dude, and you're getting your food, why not? It was it's really sad for somebody like Becky, who obviously has an overconsumption issue. By the way, 8,000 calories a day. So creamy and delicious. Of course, I had to get that. Look at this fucking filter, dude. This shit is working OD right bread now. Bread to dip into it. Then I had a Caesar salad. Now, it didn't look any like anything special, but it was honest. Just uh, lettuce, croutons, and what is that? Parmesan? It's like so tasty. Dude, but get that fucking filter course. off. That's just so annoying, man. All I can describe it as is comfort. I got tortellini, I keep hope I said that right, with some parmesan putting, on. Could put more parmesan on that, dude. Come on, keep going. Keep, keep, keep shredding. Keep shredding. Keep seasoning. Keep seasoning. By the way, uh, Becky got a little something right there on top of her dress. Listen, if you're a big eater like Becky... Just wear like a little, like a little, you know, put the napkin on the sides right here, dude. Just wear that. Put the napkin on the, on the lap. Because listen, you know you're not gonna, you know you're gonna miss. You know you're gonna miss, dude. You would think you wouldn't since you've been eating so long so much. But now they suck at eating, it seems like. Um, and peas in it. Now the sauce was just so comforting. It was absolutely delicious. Then we went to coffee and cone for dessert. <laughs> For dessert, bro? Why you need dessert? And this is just all unlimited you get, food, Becky? honestly. <gasps> oh my God! Is that donuts? They put munchkins on the top of that? <gasps> Becky, what are you doing? I am in my element. Yeah, that's really telling, Becky. So dumb. I'm gonna call it a buck. I'm gonna keep it a solid buck. It's so stupid having the chocolate on the outside of the ice cream. Are you fucking dumb? This is gonna melt and get all over your mitts. I got the Godfather ice cream sun. The driest burger you've ever seen in your life. My bad. The driest burger you've ever seen in your entire life, dude. Look how dry that thing is, dude. You can mop a floor with that. I bet they did. And I, then for just a little snack when I got back, I put Deadpool What do you mean just a little snack? What the fuck is this? The Godfather Hold on. ice cream. Okay, Sunday. my bad. Then for just a little snack when I... How the fuck is this a little snack? That's a whole ass burger and fry. How the fuck did you get a little snack and that's a whole ass meal? That's how I know this woman has an issue, bro. Looking at a burger and fry as a little snack in your mouth? That's not little, bro. That's a big ass bur It's dry. It's dry as fuck. You go definitely after you eat that shit. <laughs> Tumbleweeds coming out your mouth and shit like that. But... That's a whole ass burger and fry. I got back, I put Deadpool on, <laughs> and I had just a plain beef burger. I just wanted it plain. You think that you think that really helps that you didn't put cheese on that shit? You got fries with it, Becky. Some chips, and it was just delicious. I had such an amazing day. You could have done all this at your house, again. man. All at the crib, <laughs> Love you man. All. It's not every day you're on a cruise and get a doner kebab with a garlic mayo on dip. Yeah, but don't you get this already, like, every day in general, whenever you're chilling at the crib? Like, don't you always get doner kebabs? Don't you always get Indians? Like, am I lying on that shit, bro? It doesn't fucking matter. You're just getting it on a boat. Whatever. Let's tuck in. Her mouth is mm -hmm. so small. Takeaway night. <laughs> Hi everyone, so we have got champagne breakfast today in the room, so let me show it you. Here is Marcella. Yes, hello, I am here to deliver your food. Holy shit, you are big. No wonder, are you, is it, is this food just for you? Oh my God, you are eating so many. Thank you so much. Oh, he's probably not Mexican, right? I don't know what he is, dude, but he looks kind of like a little bit. Oh, thank you. 
Oh, so we got a tape. <laughs> he had to put the lock open. He had to put the lock on so that way he can keep retrieving the food. Oh, okay. So we have. Damn, they really put a whole ass table. What did you order? What did you order, Becky? Table. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's great. Thank you. Thanks a lot. She's just sitting down while this guy gets the food. Oh, no Damn. Way. Yeah. Damn, how much did you fucking Thank order? Was that three different drinks? Yeah. <laughs> Is this all for you? God damn. <laughs> Drinking wine too, bro. He's like, this is an alcoholic. <laughs> Yay. Thank you so much. God. <laughs> oh, lovely. Becky, Becky, we got to calm down. Hold up, bro. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten? You got ten pastries? Ten? For your mouth? Is this just for you? This is just for your mouth? Thank you. <gasps> oh, wow. <sighs> Becky! Becky! Oh. Becky! 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 Oh, no. oh, my God, Becky! Oh, my God! What are you doing? How much was on the cart? You know that cart's more for that that's made for more than one person. Wow. That looks so good. Thank you. <laughs> what are you smiling about, bro? This is real deal like she's in love right now. Yo, no way you just licked your mouth after seeing that shit. No way I just saw Thank her do you. that. Yo, what is wrong with you? You're an animal, Becky. You're unstoppable, dude. That's it, Smile. right? Smile. <laughs> you got a cameraman coming in here just to document the disrespect to your mouth? I can't believe it. How uh, much more is there? God damn. Wow, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. What the much. fuck? What is, how much food does this guy have? Jesus Christ. What the hell? Why is there so much? Wow. <laughs> God damn, Becky. Four individual plates just for your mouth? D is that it? Oh, you have champagne. I can see now how I can see how you ate 8,000 calories a day. Champagne. Oh, yeah, I don't know. A big leg. I don't know what that is. Is there more? Oh, thank you. You're welcome. This is just for her. How good is it? Smile. <laughs> They're looking at her like, this is so disrespectful to your own mouth. <laughs> what the fuck, Becky? What the goddamn fuck? Is this pre-filter right here? Let me check. Oh yeah, you saw that. You saw that filter. You saw that filter come on, right? Man, you just can't make it up. I've been catching it. I've been catching the filters in, right before they apply to the face, man. I'm just too good. I'm way too good at this, but let's go ahead. Go ahead, Becky. And you got the croissants on your shirt, too? We in the mood. Let's see it. Sad. Sad, Becky. God damn. God lord, Becky. Orange juice, too. By the way, orange juice is literally useless calories. It's just a nonstop open... So many fucking galleries on that. Don't know what that is. I think that's a piece of a crab. Damn. French toast with ketchup? Fuck. Damn, Becky. Let me give you a day in the life on day four on the Sun Princess oh my cruise God. ship. I started off with a champagne breakfast. Started off is crazy. I cannot believe those words even came out my Dude, mouth. Dude, can you imagine dancing in front of an old man with a fucking walker? Jesus Christ, move the fuck out the way, bro. Now I see why so many people were complaining about this shit, dude. Look at these people literally dancing in front of an old gentleman trying to get on with his day. Oof. Like, who does that? <laughs> it was absolutely oh. amazing. Then we oh. got ready and grabbed just a little something from the buffet. Before seeing what do you mean a little something, bro? That shit was big as hell. Captain, meet the mayor, and like a little celebration. Cookies then we went and chilled table. near the pool and the hot tubs. We are now docked at Southampton. Oh, oh, oh! Who's for what? We got some little snacks for a What do you mean little? 
What do you mean little? Each one of those cookies got to be like 500 calories, right? And it's four of them. And the pool. We seen George in the hot tub on his own, so we all Ooh, went to join him. Up. <laughs> it was so funny because my swim dress kept like literally making loads of bubbles. We honestly just sat in here, talked, laughed. Damn. It was so good. We then got out and had another little chill. Then we went back to the room to get ready for the night time. And I ordered some room service, of <gasps> course. <gasps> Got burger, oh, quesadillas. Quesadillas? I, mean, I, I just can't pronounce it. Then tonight's meal was at the butcher's block. Now, this is a meat eater's dream. <laughs> I'm quite a strange oh. one when it comes to steak. And oh. I actually ate, like, I don't even know what this bit was, but it wasn't cooked. <laughs> it was meant to be like that. But I'm trying things out of my comfort zone, and I was so proud of myself. What do you mean, trying things outside your comfort zone? No the fuck you're not. You've been literally eating the same slop every single day. Hey, you think you think it's different because you're eating some steak that you don't usually eat? No. And I used to get We're not giving well you that. Done, and I've started getting it medium well done. This jacket potato was insane. You In what world are you trying things that are different? Like, this is not different at all. Like, this is what you eat basically every single day. Pork butter on it. And I guess it's not an Indian. Foil back on and it was amazing. Some this was the steaks. chef and he was so kind when we met him. It was such an amazing experience. We had shots after which were a little bit like petrol. <laughs> That's the only way I can describe them, like, very strong. <laughs> then we went and watched some karaoke. I went to O'Malley's, the Irish pub. The band are amazing here. They played Dirty Old Town, and I was thinking of Virgil van Dyke from Liverpool. I feel bad for everybody the in this room. The atmosphere in here, it felt like I was in Ireland. It was so amazing. Here's all the girlies with our Guinness. I tried Guinness as well. Do not judge Trying me. Guinness for the first time, dude, as you live in the UK is crazy, when bro. When I poured this, oh my gosh. But we had such an amazing day. Foam as Laughed fuck. from start to finish, and I really do not want to leave. We had yeah, you know why, right? You know why she don't want to leave? The food. The deliciousness, the room service, the Indonesian man literally catering to the food to you directly to your mouth. Disrespecting your stomach on a daily basis. Baby Guinness as well. But I am having the best time. She handled that I shit. I never want to leave here because it's amazing, but I have just ordered room service. Oh. I have got some quesadillas oh. <laughs> with some crisps. Oh, my God. <laughs> I thought you don't like cheese. Oh. Now I understand how Corey felt with the lids. They are hard. I got just, like, a burger. <laughs> Dry ass burger too, man. With more chips on that shit With too. Some crisp. And then this one's just dips and drinks and stuff. Damn. It's just amazing, guys. Oh, mm. oh. Oh. Just a little snack before we go out for tea. But it's not. Listen to me, okay? I know that you looking at that as like a little snack, but I gotta let you know something right now. If that's a little snack, what's the meal? Mm -hmm. What's the meal? So you telling me you got burger, a big ass burger, dry though. Give you that dry. You're gonna have to definitely drink those three, three bottles of water. And then you got front, you got chips with it. Then you got quefadillas. Her words, not mine. Three quefadillas. And then you got chips with that as well. And all the sauces. And I just saw you drink two cans of Coca-Cola. And that's a little snack. Hmm? That's a little snack? What's a big snack? What's a meal for you? You <laughs> Portion size. That's all I'm going to say. Portion size, Becky. Jesus Christ. A little snack? Your mom, dude, that shit would fill up like two people. Just a little snack before we go out for tea. It's so disrespectful, man. I just love it. Hi, everyone. We are having our last breakfast here. None of us are happy. Because we're going At to least there's a banana on that on the plate. I don't know. I, maybe that's just like a decor decoration for her. I don't think she's gonna eat it. Leave him. I've even got banana. What is that? What is that? What does that even mean? I've even got banana. As if like that's sad. Can you imagine literally saying I'm so sad that I'm eating a banana? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> your face, Lee. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, Dan. I had such a good time. Oh my god, it's Becky! <laughs> Charlie, I'll be sad. <laughs> Corey. I've got holiday blues. <laughs> Everybody looks like they're 15 years old on, on Becky's filter. Oh! <laughs> 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 
cringe, it's cringe, it's cringe, it's cringe, it's cringe. Your face is going into your face. Smoking as well as the use of electronic devices. Three full fat coats. Yes, sir. Can we have two full fat coats, please? Two lemonades. Damn. Can I have a full fat coat and a lemonade, please? Um, can I have. Oh, a Fanta, sorry. Fanta. <laughs> <laughs> My towel's falling off. Hi everyone, so this is a bit of a different background. Back home, got an Indian takeaway. Can you believe it, dude? Can you imagine, literally, going through the entire cruise, uh, buying all that stuff, my bad, not buying, getting all that all that takeout, the whole experience, right? And then the first, day, the first night you get back, gotta get an Indian, gotta get an Indian takeaway. What else is there, man? Tonight, I know that I've indulged the last like week. Yeah, no fucking shit, literally, 8,000 calories a day. Literally, 8,000 calories a day. And you managed to put it up to 33,000 calories over that four days. That's big. That's real big, Becky. You not only did you indulge, but you had the chefs working around the clock to fulfill your mouth desires, consistently cooking food for you. And you sitting there talking about some, I know I overindulged, but I gotta get a takeaway. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For your mouth. You don't think your mouth did enough work? You don't think your mouth was feeling all that sensation? Why do you even need this right now, dude? And you brought back the big ass bowl. God damn, Becky. All right, all right, I'm happy. I'm happy for you. It's just our girlies in her era. Our girlies in her takeaway era. So what, what you gonna do about it, huh? So I thought I'd just finish it off with one of these. What do you mean finish it off? You're, you're, you're not done with the, the cruise is done. It's over. Yeah, the, the, what do you, it's already finished. But you got to double finish it? Before I go shopping properly tomorrow. Huh? So I had to get a pop on because what I ordered wasn't enough to get delivery. So I had to get a pop on. I got a nice plain naan. Oh. Because I'm eating this in my bedroom. Oh. Not that it matters, it's plain because I've got garlic and chicken. A little salad and some mint sauce. That salad's not doing shit. And then I just went for pilaf rice and chicken tikka masala. So let's dish it just, out. I just got that, I've guys. What's up? I've gone for a bowl up? tonight. Usually I have a plate, but I went with a bowl. Yeah. Let's just chop all the rice. Oh, in. oh. Just gonna damn, what is that? Like two cups of rice? Damn, Becky, calm down. You just got done. You just got done with eating literally all the food on the cruise. And now you're talking about some. Let's just dump it all out. I feel like I haven't had curry for ages. Ow. Yeah, the food, the food bit back. The food bit back. That's when you know you're not supposed to be eating this shit. Dude. This so good. Whatever, dude. I love a chicken tea. Oh my god, dude. Jesus okay. Christ. Is this just for you? Mm. Oh my god. My gosh, it's so creamy. Calm down now. Calm down. Take me out first. Take me out before you talk about how creamy it is. I've got this little bowl. For what? What just is in there? Put this in as well. What is that? It's just some plain pe plain pieces of garlic chicken. Oh my gosh! I think my fingers bleed. Dude, put a band aid on. You're good, man. You know that ain't gonna stop you from body slamming. Just go ahead, dude. Is that chicken? No, it's bleeding off the. Can you imagine looking at the blood on your finger and be like, "Is that the chicken masala?" That's all. Cut my finger. Ouch. Cheese. Out of I'll breath, dude. Literally hyperventilating over the food right now, man. Right. Why are you still bleeding? Yeah, no shit. It's called a cut. Go get a Band-Aid, Becky. You're a grown woman. I'm gonna have the cucumber. What about the rest? Not the tomato. Come on. You're good? Yeah, some there we go. Some green stuff in there. Go and dump the whole thing out. What are you doing? What are you doing? And then some nice mint sauce. Oh, no. Becky. <gasps> Into my oh, Becky, it's so much. It's so many much. You're about to body this whole thing. Here is my tape. Oh, you look closer. Doesn't. Oh work. my God, dude. There's so much rice on this bowl, man. As she doesn't realize how massive this is. It's like three. This is like three servings of food right here. Good Lord, Becky. This look stunning. <gasps> That looks so tasty. And then I've only had a little bit of the Papa Dom because I'm not the biggest Papa Dom lover. But that's my tea. The same way that you're not a big cheese lover? 
Huh? You're saying well, you're not a big cheese lover, Becky? Huh? You're not a big Papa Don's lover? Tonight, Whatever that guys. is. And I'm going to watch Kane and Yayan's new Influences Control Our Look Lives for a day. Look how big that shit is, bro. This is already hilarious. I'm loving it. Um, garlic chicken. What a life she lives. <laughs> what a beautiful life Becky lives, dude. Honestly, uh, nothing but the best for her, dude. She got to do something about this diet, though, man. Literally 34,000 calories in literally four days? Four days, man? Damn. That's real tough, man. That's, that's kind of, that's, that's a lot. That's a lot, Becky, even for you. That's a real lot, dude. Uh, looks like that filter ain't really working the best right here. I'm, I'm peeping. But anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. Let me know what you guys think about Becky Jones down below in the comment section. If you liked today's video, I'd appreciate it if you could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. If you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in lemon because lemons are beautiful and they're amazing. They're a little bit sour, but it's okay. In the right circumstance, they're amazing and tasty and beautiful. And they are, they are just like you. Beautiful, amazing, tasty individual, just like yourself. Um, I really treasure your opinion on things. So let me know what you guys think about Becky Jones, I read every single comment, including the one you just left about how you think my nose is really big. How dare you? My nose may be big, but at least it's shapely, right? Somebody told me that big noses are good for um, putting in buttholes. Anyway, we're going to end the video here. If you guys want to check out my socials, they'll be listed down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.